AMD just announced the Ryzen 9850X 3D. They claim it's now the world's fastest gaming CPU, and they claim FSR Redstone is now supported in over 200 games. Welcome back to PC Builder, I'm Jason. AMD took to the stage of the Consumer Electronics Show that CES 2026, mostly to say the word AI as many times as possible. But in between all the repeated AI, 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 they actually managed to launch a new gaming CPU in the Ryzen 9850X 3D and share what sounds like pretty impressive FSR Redstone game support numbers. AMD pre-briefed us on the details, so let's jump into them. Let's start with the Ryzen 9850X 3D. This is essentially a better binned version of the existing Ryzen 9800X 3D with no architectural changes. The big win here is that it boosts 400 megahertz faster at 5.6 gigahertz compared to the 5.2 gigahertz of the Ryzen 9800X 3D. AMD confirmed the rest of the CPU. It's essentially the same as the 9800X 3D. It's got eight cores, 16 threads, 104 megabytes total cache, and the same 120 watt TDP. In terms of gaming performance, AMD sent over its first party slides. So of course, take these with a huge grain of salt until we get third party testing. But AMD claims that the 9850X 3D, it's 27% faster than Intel's best Core Ultra 9 285K across 13 games at 1080p, high settings with an RTX 5090. AMD didn't specifically give a number for how much faster the 9850X 3D is than the 9800X 3D, but if you do the math on the slides, and I'm kind of a nerd, so I did, it comes out to be an average of 3% faster. The biggest gains are seen in the eSports titles, which isn't surprising. Again, this is using AMD's first party numbers. For the Ryzen 9850X 3D launch date, AMD just gave a Q1 2026 availability, and they did not provide a price in the pre-briefing. Maybe they'll do one on stage. AMD said they would announce the exact launch and price closer to the launch date. The Ryzen 9800X 3D launched in November 2024 for a $479 M MSRP, it regularly sells at retail at $460 to $480 with occasional sales down to $430. If I had to guess, I'd say we're looking at a $499 to $529 MSRP for the 9850X 3D, but that's just my guess. AMD did say that the Ryzen 9850X 3D, it is not replacing the 9800X 3D, and they're gonna continue to sell both CPUs. But AMD also has the Ryzen 7800X 3D, it currently selling from $330 to $400 at retail. That's a lot of eight core X3D CPUs to juggle in the lineup. And I honestly would not be surprised to see the prices of the 9800X3D and 7800X3D come down in response or possibly more likely have AMD discontinue one of the other X3D CPUs. We'll have to wait and see on that one. The other big gaming desktop announcement by AMD was FSR Redstone, which is AMD's new name for the suite of software, including FSR for upscaling, frame gen, ray regeneration, and radiance caching. AMD claims that one or more of those technologies is now available in over 200 game titles, though they didn't specify how many titles had specifically FSR4 upscaling. AMD's reps in the pre-briefing noted that they had originally promised over 100 titles by the end of 2025, but that given the success of the RX 9000 series GPUs and game developer demand, they were able to double that by the end of 2025. It's definitely promising news for those of us who want to see FSR4 be competitive with NVIDIA's DLSS4, because DLSS4 has benefited from larger availability in older titles, though both FSR4 and DLSS4 do seem to have matched each other in new releases. AMD also announced new mobile CPUs in the Ryzen AI 400 series, and one slide did mention them in desktop as well. It wasn't clear if these are going to be socketable CPUs or more like mini PCs, and if they were going to be sold to consumers or just to OEMs like Dell and Lenovo. It seems like these are mostly mobile focused, and if we do get a desktop version, there'll be a slightly upgraded version of the Ryzen 8000 series desktop APUs, which are generally terrible when paired with a desktop GPU. Desktop gamers can safely ignore them, but they do look good for mobile applications like laptops and handheld gaming devices. All right, let's talk about the big announcements that we did not get it at least in the pre-briefing. It is always possible that AMD just debated the tech media, and if they did, I will put any updates in the pinned comment below. The first one was no Ryzen 9950X3D 2. The rumored dual vCache version of the Ryzen 9950X3D where both CCDs could benefit from 3D vCache. We also didn't get any news about an RDNA 4 GPU refresh or bigger RX 9080 XT GPU. So what's my initial reaction to the Ryzen 9850X3D CPU announcement? 
Well, at a time when RAM prices are like crazy high, though price increases for PC RAM have leveled off, I think that the Ryzen 9850X3D, it's probably a good CPU to launch. There's a lot of Ryzen AM5 systems out there with something like a 7500F, 7600, 7600X, maybe even like a Ryzen 7700. And for those who recently upgraded their GPU to something bigger, like an RX 9070XT, 5070Ti, or like a faster GPU, like a Ryzen 9850X3D, it might be a way to squeeze every last frame out of your existing system. And again, for upgraders, it doesn't require any new RAM. But of course, AMD is gonna have to also price this correctly. It's hard to see how any more than like 499, possibly 529 would make any sense with two more X3D CPUs in the 9800X3D and 7800X3D to choose from. That's why I suspect at least one of those CPUs is gonna go away in the near future, despite AMD saying the 9800X3D is still here to stay but we'll have to wait and see on those details. Let me know your thoughts on AMD's announcements, including the things they didn't announce. We're at CES this week, so stay tuned for a lot of upcoming content and all the latest PC tech. If you get value out of this video, please give it a like, and of course, subscribe for more cool PC content, like our PC parts to avoid in 2026 right here, and our first look at GPU prices in 2026 right here, because they are definitely going up. Check those out, and we'll catch you on the next one.